Hi, my name is Susan Sarandon. I play the iconic Linda Curson. Ah. Uh, I'm Paul Reiser. I play Angelo. <laughs> um, I play, wait, 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 which camera are we looking at? <laughs> 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 How do we do this again? Hello, I'm Darcy Carden, and I play Skunk. Hi, I'm Isaiah Lester, and I co-directed The Gutter. And hi, I'm Yasser Lester. I co-directed The Gutter with uh, Isaiah. I'm also the writer. It's a funny, fun little bowling comedy, uh, an underdog slash fish out of water story about uh, a young black kid uh, becoming the new face of bowling. And if you've ever watched bowling, you know that's weird. <laughs> In fact, he's practicing his game right now. That's why I'm <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's method even after the fact. <laughs> So the idea for the gutter came from, honestly, uh, I'll say the brokest years of me and Isaiah's adult life, not childhood. That was that was broker, yeah, but, but <laughs> adulthood doing bad. Um, and they used to have these like two dollar a game nights at the local bowling alley, and uh, we'd go there. We'd have six dollars so we could play three games. Where is the um, bowling alley? It's uh, it's it was the AMF on Venice and Inglewood. Um, it's now a Bolero, gentrification. <laughs> um, but we would go there all the time and, you know, Isaiah points it out, which was always so funny to us. It would be like us who are just like broke grown adults and then like literally a child's birthday party <laughs> and then gang members. Like just like, and it, it, we would always be like, it's just so crazy all three things are happening at once. And one particular night, me and Isaiah and our, our uh, best friend Reza were bowling, and uh, there were uh, there was there was a gang next to us, and they were literally bowling and just talking about crimes they did yeah. earlier that day. <laughs> and we we're like, that's so weird to be like, you shot someone and then you also came bowling. Like it was just so funny to us, and so you know, I don't think we all thought much of it, but it kind of just stuck in my head. And um, I don't know, like a year later, I tried to make a little sizzle reel to like see what the idea would look like. And everyone was like, this is stupid. This is unbelievable. <laughs> like, <laughs> Throw it in the ocean. And then, um, you know, all credit to my wife, like a year later was like, just write it as a movie. And uh, I did. And Isaiah came on board to direct because he actually has knowledge of it. And I'm just <laughs> essentially one of those noodles in front of a, <laughs> a car dealership that's just like, pay attention to me. Um, and uh, in terms of finding Shamik, like, it, it, this is going to sound weird, but he's uh, the character's name is Walt after our cousin. We essentially, you know, our cousin's just, you know, he's like, I don't know, 37, but it's just like always talking about anime, essentially. Playing video games all the time. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> and so Shamik weirdly just reminded us of him, and we were like, should we just try him? Because, like, I mean, I don't know if you're going to keep this part or not, but they were like, you should go with like John David Washington. And it's like, I, we're not going to have Denzel Washington's son. <laughs> Come play a shirtless porn addict who's good at bowling. Yeah. yeah. Um, he went on to do Tenet, uh, but uh, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. But yeah, me and Yasser, I would say like uh, this is going to be a very straight answer for a, a thing about comedy, but we, we kind of always have been have had very bold senses of humor, and like I feel like especially Yasser and like the script, he's like the kind of person who will force you to laugh. Like, like you don't want to laugh. And he's just like, I'm still like, again, like one of those, if you stare at one of those arm noodle things long enough, it will make you laugh. Yeah. So, um, and not being afraid to make fun of yourselves and like not getting your own feelings hurt. I think like the funniest stuff um, is the stuff that you're like, man, I do that or I do say that. And like, it's kind, it, kind of, it kind of embarrasses you a bit, but it's really funny. And I think that that is the thing. I think people are like kind of, uh, you know, in a world full of Instagram and Facebooks and Metas and <laughs> Apple Pro Visor headsets, uh, I think people take themselves too seriously. And I think that everyone's like, has this idea of like curating an image for themselves. And anytime that image is attacked, they feel attacked. It's not even them personally. It's just how, what their perception of themselves is. And I think that, um, I think that's the kind of stuff we're kind of like trying to dismantle and, um, 
I don't know, make you confront it, make you like force you to laugh at yourself. Um, I, I think that's what it is. Paul, is that there's a good a answer? Of, there's a lot of inappropriate humor is what he said. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that long answer. That's yeah. That was actually, I was like, you really intellectual. I know. Is that what I said? I, mean, I, I, just, yeah. Yeah, I, I gave a warning before I said yeah, yeah. No, that was awesome. You don't often laugh out loud when you're reading a script. Um, sometimes you go, you're reading it, and if it's funny, you go, hmm, hmm, mm-hmm. But I was like chuckling out loud which was such a good sign. And I, and I honestly just wanted to meet you guys after I read it. That was, I didn't, I didn't even think I was gonna get the part. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think, I made, I mean, honestly, I was like, I, it can't be me. This is, <laughs> I don't know who will play this part. It won't be me, but I gotta meet these guys. I love this script so much. Um, and then we fell in love. Truly, I just, I, quick interjection we were talking about the character to Darcy and we we're like if we can we want someone who can be weird like one of our favorite characters is Barry Egan from Punch Drunk Love and she literally held up a painting that was like on her desk and we were like if it's not her we're gonna commit suicide we didn't commit suicide yeah <laughs> she is here yeah I had been looking for a bowling movie for years <laughs> and I got this script and I was like, yes, I can finally show off my bowling skills. <laughs> it was very funny. Yeah. I'm with you. Yes, I, I, cause uh, there were no ping pong movies available. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, what else you got? Shuffle board, I don't do that. But bowling, and I said, this is the bowling movie that we've always looked for. And yeah. to work with Susan yeah. Sarandon who also was bowling. Yeah. And Darcy. Lucky us.